Welcome back to the Berean Preterist. My name is Richard Eckhart. Today is July 30th, 2019. When we look at covenant eschatology, we truly are looking at a cult that is being formed right before our very eyes. It's out from the 1970s and 1980s. And the guy who formed this cult is Max King. William Bell joined rank with Max King in the 1980s and Don K. Preston joined rank with Max King and William Bell in the 1990s. And it's William Bell and Don K. Preston who have been plugging away at covenant eschatology ever since. And the core heretical doctrine that Max King came up with is that there is an alleged corporate body, which is a group of people condemned under the old covenant or old creation. And the reason, the alleged reason that this group of people are condemned is because of the Mosaic covenant and law. Max King has a universal condemnation upon a group of people in the old covenant or old creation and this universal condemnation is allegedly the mosaic covenant and law and with this corporate body view of death and resurrection part of this core heretical doctrine is that the mosaic covenant and law needs to be allegedly taken out of the way for this condemned corporate body to be made alive so salvation and life are dependent upon the taking away of the mosaic covenant and law and this is the basic premise of this heresy this cult that we are uh, watching be formed right before our eyes here with william bell and don k preston and they happen to get on board some other guys that were futurist Church of Christ congregations who have adopted this heresy from Max King, uh, namely Holger Neubauer and Steve Baisden. So these four guys, William Bell, Don K. Preston, Holger Neubauer, and Steve Baisden, they are considered to be sort of the prophets of preterism or the apostles of this of this movement called covenant eschatology even though Holger Neubauer and Steve Bazden are rather new additions to what is going on so you look at this core heretical doctrine of a corporate body that is condemned under the old covenant and old creation being made alive allegedly being made alive after the Mosaic Covenant and law is allegedly taken out of the way. And these guys are claiming that this was done over a 40 year process between the cross and AD 70. And at the end of this resurrecting process, they say that this body that was condemned under the uh, Mosaic Covenant and law was risen from the death and condemnation and corruption of being under the Mosaic Covenant and Law in AD 70. So they say that this corporate body that existed in what they are calling a flesh realm or a flesh location of the old creation or old covenant, they say that this corporate body was risen from the death and corruption of the Mosaic Covenant and Law in this flesh realm or flesh location of the old covenant or old creation now imagine if you are a futurist and I, I I was a futurist for 15 years but I never looked at this insane heresy of of a corporate body view of death and resurrection while I was a futurist so I, I automatically understood individual body view preterism when I saw preterism in the Bible in 2002 that's when I became an individual body view preterist 
But imagine that you are a futurist and you believe that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back a second time in the future. And you have this same idealism that these heretics have in covenant eschatology. And you say, well, the only way that a corporate body of Israel could be saved is in the future when this corporate body of Israel has the Mosaic covenant and law allegedly taken away from condemning this alleged corporate body of Israel. Now that's exactly what these heretics in covenant eschatology have, except they position this taking away of the Mosaic covenant and law in AD 70. But I don't know anybody who is a futurist that would have the same framework that Max King has. And they would say that there is a corporate body that is condemned under the old creation or old covenant. And the means of this universal condemnation is the Mosaic covenant and law. And one day in the future, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to return and he is going to remove the Mosaic covenant and law from this corporate body. And at that time, one day in the future, this corporate body is going to be raised as a spirit body of a spirit Christ. So that's what these guys have. But again, they position this in the first century. Now, in order to make this happen, these guys have heresy on top of heresy on top of heresy. And one of the big problems that these guys have is that they spit on the literal physical blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that was shed on the cross for the literal taking away of literal sin. And they spit on the literal biological physical flesh body of the Lord Jesus Christ that was given on the cross as a death sacrifice for each and every member of the Lord's church, the Lord's body. So these guys are negating what happened on the cross and they are extending this sacrifice process for 40 years for a corporate body that they say is the same body that becomes a spirit body of a spirit Christ. And Don K. Preston also has the biological, physical flesh body of the Jesus Christ of covenant eschatology be divested and destroyed and burned up in heaven. And, and that's heresy. So I could list 10 heresies right now that these guys have to support this insane ideology from Max King. It truly is shameful. It's a, it's a shameful, damnable heresy. And these guys are pushing this on unsuspecting, gullible people. Thanks for watching today. And I, I pray that people start asking these heretics the right questions about what is condemning people today. If, if, as these guys say, the Mosaic Covenant and Law was completely taken out of the way in AD 70, and it was only the Mosaic Covenant and Law that condemns, universally condemned everyone under the old creation or the old covenant, according to these guys, what is it that is condemning people today? How are people condemned? Don K. Preston says that everybody is born innocent into the world today, ever since AD 70. Well, then step up to the plate. And let's talk about what is condemning people today. I pray that you're blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Peace to you. Blessings.